it's like 10 degrees outside and I'm really not about it because my car is freezing and I hate the cold and I hate winter. Thank you for coming to my TED talk, bye. siblings and welcome back to my channel today I was really in the mood to film a video I was just out here ready to grind but I had no ideas and I'm not that creative sometimes and today's just one of those days so we're doing a drive with me you know the video every youtuber does when they don't know what to do but it's actually been a while since I've done it it's been like a month I know that's not that long but Currently, I am in my car, clearly. I decided that I want some Taco Bell because I haven't had Taco Bell in a hot second because at the Thanksgiving dinner at Taco Bell, they didn't actually, it wasn't Taco Bell, it was like actual Thanksgiving food. Today, in my drive with me, I want to answer a lot of like hot topic questions that I get asked a lot. Just some basic things that I don't talk about in my regular videos. I also am going to show you guys some of my favorite songs this month because my playlist is popping. If you like chill, lo-fi, vibey, like in love type of music, then I got you. I really hate the way I just said that. First hot topic is Yes, my microwave is still broken. Let's get some of my songs going. I've been obsessing over Ariana Grande lately, and this is my favorite Ariana Grande song. Boy, I met you, such a dream to me. Don't look I don't want to wait. This song is just the biggest vibe ever. I fall in love to terribly hard. I love songs that like talk at the beginning like this. It's just if you're a lo-fi fan, then you know. I'm pulling into Taco Bell and they actually have a new item I am actually thrilled about. I'm very particular about what I like at Taco Bell. I always either get a quesadilla, a quesadilla, something like that. I don't really like the actual tacos, but they have a roll, what was it? Oh my gosh, rolled chicken taco. What are those things called? The like taquitos? They're like taquitos. Okay. Wait, why am I nervous to like order? Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. I take your order and finish ready. And then a four pack of the rolled chicken tacos. I always wonder if they can like see that I have a camera in my dash. I really hope not. 153 and I just in. got so far away. Let me try that again. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, a little closer this time. <laughs> not really. You know, You're sometimes it just be like that. It just be like this. <laughs> okay. Understand. Good time. You literally try. I'm. I. I'm way excited. Thank you. Have a good day. So these are the like ta rolled taco things. Uh, also, I've never gotten a side of guacamole before, and I'm really excited to try it. That's beautiful. I don't even want to talk anymore. I just want to eat. I'm hungry. So I was watching a lot of my old videos, and I tend to just like rant about stupid stuff, and I hate that. So. I'm trying to like just be more quick. Hot topic number one, why don't I go to school anymore? Most of you guys know that I do online school, but I only have one class because I'm really just trying to get my credits to graduate. I was gonna graduate in December no matter what. Decided to switch to online at my last quarter of high school. I wanted to talk a little bit about like the pros and cons of doing online school. And I'm gonna do like a day in the life of an online student and talk more about this because a lot of people have been like, oh, I really want to, but my parents won't let me or I'm not sure if I should. I definitely say that online isn't for everyone. This could be a pro or con is that there's no structure really. They just give you your assignments. You can do them literally all in one day if you want, or you can do it spread out throughout the quarter, semester, year, whatever. The bad part about online is that there's no like social aspect to it. I still technically am enrolled in my school. I just do it online. So I can still go to homecoming, football games, basketball games, 
whatever I want, but I choose not to because I don't want to see anyone anymore. If you were doing full online, you definitely want to be in a program where you can still attend activities. You don't get to see people every day, and for some people, that's exactly what you need, like me. But for some people, that's the opposite of what you need, so take that into account. You have a lot more free time and you can wake up whenever you want because I get a lot more done because I'm not in school for six hours. I just do my work as fast as I can and then I'm done. This is so good, I can't like stop to talk. I just want to eat it. Hot topic number two is why I'm not going to college. I'm not completely ruling out college for the rest of my life, but I don't think that it's ever going to happen, and I'm choosing not to go right now. I literally haven't applied to any colleges. I only took the ACT because it was necessary, like, everyone had to take it. Odd flex, but okay. I, I have nothing against college. I think it's really great. I think it's not for everyone, and everyone thinks it's like everyone needs to go. The main reason that I'm not going to college well, actually, okay, I'm going to address why people go to college and then why I don't need to go to college. So the main reason people go to college is because they don't know what to do with the, their life. So they're going to go to college to figure it out. I already know what I want to do with my life. Two, they need a degree for their job. I don't need a degree to be a YouTuber. I don't need a degree to be an actress if I decide to do that or modeling. Really, anything, any of the industries that I could potentially go into, I don't need a degree need a degree for. I can get a degree for it and get an education for it, which could be helpful, but I don't need one. Three is, this isn't really why people go, but I don't want to go because it's very expensive and unnecessary for me. I already said why I don't need to go, so why would I spend so much money, maybe get into debt at such a young age when I don't need it right now? College can always be an opportunity when you're older, so I don't think there's really a need to push myself to do it right now, and I don't think I'm ever going to, but if I want to, it's not like going away just because I'm older. Mm, I bit my mouth. Oh my gosh, I'm literally bleeding from biting my mouth. Okay, we need to slow down our eating here. I've also been getting a lot of questions about me moving out, moving to New York, all that, so I'm gonna address it. I'm 17 years old, and I'm moving out on my own. A lot of people are confused and they thought my family was moving. My brother's actually moving with me, but it's not like a family move. It's just like I'm literally moving out of the house on my own. I have to pay my own bills, and my brother's going to be there as well. I'm honestly kind of just moving where my brother goes because he's like my best friend. And he was like, hey, New York, and I was like, eh, I guess. I thought I was going to hate it, but I actually really love it, so I'm really excited to be able to venture out there and see what I can do with myself, my channel, etc. I'm actually excited to move there with no one I know, no friends, nothing, just the people I live with because I will have 130% time just to work on videos. Like, there will not be a time when I'm not brainstorming, researching, filming, editing, whatever needs to get done for a video. So I'm gonna have more content, better content, be interacting with you guys more. I'm just gonna have way more time and way less distractions. I also get a lot of questions about my boyfriend, Dallin. He's doing, um, all right. <laughs> yeah, he's still on his mission and he's been out two months. So he still has 22 months to go. Quesadillas are literally the best. I wish my mouth wasn't bleeding. I'm like eating my blood. There's not really any new updates on that one, so. I get a lot of questions about like friends that I used to have or friends that used to be in videos. The truth is that I haven't had any big falling outs. Big falling out, big. I don't know, big falling outs, I don't know how to say that, with anyone. I'm not really huge into like drama. So any of the past friends that you may have questions about that aren't in videos, if it's not Dallin because Dallin's gone, then we're just not really friends anymore. It's not that I don't like them or we're not friends at all. It's just that we faded, we're totally into different things. I'm not really a huge party or anything and a lot of my old friends are like huge partiers. So it's kind of like a conflict of interest. Now that I don't go to school, I don't see people every day, so I don't really talk to them ever. That's just how it is. I didn't want to get super attached to anyone because I'm moving. Yeah, that's the truth. I have nothing against anyone. Definitely still love all my old friends. Still catch up with them every once in a while. It's not just like, they're not huge parts of my life, so. And I've kind of turned my YouTube channel into just me, not me and everyone I'm friends with because I realized that I kind of want to have a personal life as well. Not combine them so much because it causes a lot of drama on the internet that's unnecessary and that they didn't ask for. Just growing up and maturing, it's a great thing in life. All right, wanna listen to some more music? I just drove all the way home just to get another battery so I could keep filming. I'm glad I'm at a stoplight because I'm vibing.
I'm getting in the feels so cute. We love Madison beer. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my social media down below, and I will see you in the next one.